Kiang, a non-profit and aerospace company Boeing, are offering free of charge computer programming lessons in Tanzania. Led by subject matter experts, over 60 teenagers are learning a diverse range of skills such as coding, robotics and drone operation. The implications of not having these skills on the continent or having very few of these kind of technical, especially coding, engineering type of skills, and now you can even look at the AI kind of side, is that we are dependent on global talent, right? Instead of developing these type of companies, programs, these data centers on the continent so that we own our data, we own our information, we are sending it abroad. Some parents see the benefits of having extracurricular coding lessons. They are calling for the creation of similar programs across Africa and other developing countries. I think because of the gap in terms of um, resource and infrastructure availability, we do face a disadvantage. And I think from a policy perspective, governments should make um, concerted effort to, to promote and make investment in the young people. Think Young and Boeing say they have been running similar programs in Ethiopia, Kenya and Rwanda. They say that over the past eight years, they have successfully trained over 1,400 teenagers, 60% of whom are girls. The organizers of this workshop want to see an African continent that has a large number of youngsters with coding skills. They hope these skills will aid in Africa's technological development, create jobs and hopefully prevent brain drain of present and future talent. Despite these lofty goals, challenges exist. Coding education, technology education was not in curriculum when you know the generation of teachers right now was in school. So there's also a gap there. So even the teachers that are at our program, they are people from industry. There are people working as developers, as software engineers today. And so, you know, it's kind of a two-pronged side. One, you know, making sure that we have enough resources to get as many students, but also making sure we have the right teachers. Tanzania's telecom regulator notes that there are about 34 million internet subscribers in the country, a number that has been growing at an average of 17% over the past five years. Those behind this coding school hope that as this number grows, young people armed with 21st century skills can contribute towards creating a more competitive and productive workforce. Isaac Lukanda, CGTN, Dar es Salaam.